Hi, in this video, we'll talk about uh, set query data and rec query. Um, rec query allows us to do all kinds of mutations and queries. Um, whenever we do a mutation where we create, delete, or update something, um, normally, if you're a beginner, what you would do is you would refetch the query. And it is very easy to do, and also it's convenient for you know small amount of data but what if the amount of data is you know like 100,000 records or 1 million records so editing creating or updating a single record will refetch a query which would bring 1 million records again which is you know very slow and uh, not very good um, basically um, UX so what uh, also it would be extensive um, on your network application network requests basically going again and again which you don't want and which also doesn't make any sense what you would want is that whatever the data is there right now you would like to update it based on what operation you have done so if you have created a record you would like the record to be updated appended in the uh, whatever record is shown in your app if you are updating it you would like for the data in which you are showing to the user right now to be replaced with updated data and for the deleted data you would like that record to be removed from you know whatever data you're showing to the user so we can do that using set query data um, so let's see it in action the simplest thing would be you know removing an item from uh, an array uh, you know let's say you're deleting something you would like to remove it you know so that would be the simplest thing to do so we will do it first um, so let's say these uh, four are, you know, the basically um, to-dos right now. Right now, this these to-dos are being um, shown using this query, um, which is in this uh, request file. Um, and it is returning some dummy data right now, ID, title, and uh, at the format is similar to how to-dos are fetched from JSON API. But they were, you know, dummy text, so I wanted something descriptive, so I uh, have this dummy uh, array. So there are four to-dos right now. And if you go to JSON placeholder, um, there are dummy endpoints for uh, to-dos as well for um, mutations. So if you would go to, let's say, to-dos, um, no, where's the... Um, where is the portion? Okay, guide. Yes. So, if you go ahead, you, this is actually showing you how you would, you know. So, for creation, it would be slash, in my case, to do's, and it would be a post request. For updating, it would be slash post, slash whatever the ID is, and it would be a put request. And for deleting, it would be a delete request with, you know, whatever the ID you want deleted. So, you know, I have uh, basically. Um, uh you uh made three mutations for it using these three ways so one for delete post and put uh, but these uh, dummy endpoints do not work so we will basically emulate it so let's say in use to delete to do um when you click on any delete button what i am is doing what i am doing is i am uh, calling on delete to do so on delete to do basically calls the delete to do mutation which we are getting from here and it is um, basically getting the id of that particular to do now i have to basically update the cache that is update whatever is being shown so i will use query client dot set query data so query client dot set query data um, demands two props uh, params one is the query key for which you want the particular request to be updated I want this request data to be updated so I will grab this query key and the second param is a function and in this function I get the current data um, which um, you know is present right now uh, in respect to this particular query key and I have to return the updated data so for deleting I would like the particular to do to be removed so I would use a filter normal filter so I would do to do's or array 
dot filter to do to do dot id should not be equal to id which is coming from here so let's test it i refresh it i click on uh, delete button for making presentation and now it's gone so let emulated basically emulated a request and you know after that i because i'm using await after that i updated the cache cache to remove the to do with that particular id um for which i click the delete button so cool um let's do this for uh, create and delete as well so for career as well same thing um i'm getting the new to do in the response so what i will do is i will append it to the already uh, present to do's and i will you know get the updated to do's um so i will say um to do so an array new to do and then to do's or or empty array. cool so here i would basically enter to do i can say um publishing a blog and i would submit it and now you can see that it's been appended to the array which i'm mapping um, basically uh, now the to do's coming from the query have been updated with whatever the appended uh, thing is coming from the query to do um, so yeah now for the update i would basically run a map and i would replace the to do which i'm updating right now with the updated to do with i'm getting from the backend so i would say to do's or or array dot map to do to do <coughs> to do dot id <coughs> is equal to um to do id then it should replace it with updated to do <coughs> otherwise you know uh, the regular to do should be returned so what it would do is it would uh, um, for that particular to do id for which i am updating the to do it would replace it with the updated to do i'm getting from the back end as a response and for others it would just return the uh, whatever to do is right now for other to do's so i can you know click on editing videos let's say and i can say um editing youtube videos and now when i click submit then you can see that now this uh, item has been updated with the updated title um so that's a tutorial for uh, set query data we have seen how we can use it to update the query cache if in case of mutations deleting updating and creation so if you want any further tutorial for your query you can comment down below if you have any queries you can also comment down below and uh, like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye